In this video, you'll learn how to make irregular verbs negative and how to make questions with irregular verbs in the past tense. In the simple form, the verb go becomes went in the past tense and as a past participle, it's gone. When you study the past tense, it's useful to look at how verbs appear in the past tense and as a past participle. Sometimes they're quite different, but sometimes they're the same. The verb put doesn't change in the past tense or as a past participle. And the verb make becomes made in the past tense and it stays the same as a past participle. When using a regular verb, like live, live, lived, and lived, you only have to add the ed or d to the end of the verb. So these are fairly easy to form in the past tense. Irregular verbs and how they change from one form to another have to be memorized. Whenever you study irregular verbs, it's useful to know how they change from the simple form to the past tense and to the form of a past participle. Sometimes the verb changes a lot and sometimes it doesn't change at all. And then there are other times when the past tense is the same as the past participle. There are many, many irregular verbs. You have to remember how they all change. Here's the verb go. Go, went, gone. Put, 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 put. Make, make, made, made. These irregular verbs are in the form of the past tense. To make a negative or to make a question, use a helping verb, use did before the simple form. Did go, did put, did make, didn't go, didn't put, did not make. I didn't go. This is negative using the helping verb and then not in the form of a contraction. And then the main verb is in the simple form, go. To make a question, put did first. Did you go? Here's the helping verb. And then here's the main verb. Here's the subject. I put it on. This is on the past tense. Here's the past tense verb. To make it negative, put didn't in front of the simple form. I didn't put it on. And to form a question, use did before the subject. We can use he in this case, did he put it on? And if it's a question for information, the question word would go here. Why did he put it on? She made lunch. This is in the past tense. To make this negative, use did with make. She didn't make lunch. Here's the contraction for not and did, didn't. And the question is formed by putting did before the subject. Did she make lunch? The main verb is in the simple form. 
And for a question word, you can use something like when. When did she make lunch? Here's the verb run. Run, ran, run. In the past tense, he ran from the building. In the negative, use the helping verb did and not. And then the simple form of the verb is here. As a question, the helping verb goes before the subject and then the main verb is in the simple form. He ran from the building. He didn't run from the building. Did he run from the building? You can also put a question word here. Why did he run from the building? When did he run from the building? Here's the verb break. Break, broke, broken. It broke. This is the past tense. It didn't break. This is also the past tense. It's negative, so the helping verb goes before the simple form and use not. Here there's a contraction. Did not become didn't. And in this question, the helping verb goes before the subject and then the main verb is in the simple form. Did it break? You could also make a question with a question word here. Why? Why did it break? 